What's up, YouTube? This right here is my baby. This is a 1970 Le Mans Sport. Absolutely love this thing. And obviously, come wintertime, she gets parked, right? Uh, along with that comes a lot of battery maintenance. And, I mean, you're going to have to jump your battery here and there, stuff like that. I came across this. Let's see, what's this thing called? Uh... Noco Genius. Got this little strap here covering it, but it is the Noco Genius 2. Who knows by now they're probably on the Genius 3. Uh, I absolutely could not really believe that this little thing can do everything that it can do. Uh, it can jump this, it can jump this uh, V8, no problem. Uh, and at first, I didn't think it was going to do it. But, you know, this thing actually plugs into the wall. So there is a difference there. Obviously, uh, before I got this, I was used to just having to use um, just like an old school jump box, right? You're pretty much carrying around a battery. You have to keep it charged. Uh, and they deplete. You have to store them right. I've actually went through a ton of them. Uh, and some of the newer ones actually aren't as good as the older ones. So this isn't something that's going to work on the side of the road, right? Unless you bring some kind of little generator or something to plug it into. Um, but with an extension cord, there's a lot you can do, right? And if you're trying to jump something that's at your house, something that you've had stored, something that's been sitting around, this is actually perfect. Uh, so this thing actually analyzes what you're trying to jump. It picks the right setting. You don't even have to do anything. You, there's literally one button to hit here. I think that's why they call it the genius, right? Because this little box actually has a little brain in it. Um, and I can tell you right now, if it's starting this big heavy V8, uh, it's going to have no problem with just about anything, right? These things are nice and easy right and there is a disconnect here so you can hook these up then you connect it make sure everything's good if there's a problem a warning light will come on right and then of course you disconnect everything make sure everything's right uh really takes the guesswork out of anything like that so that's pretty cool for a lot of people um i totally think this thing is worth it uh since i got this i haven't had to uh I haven't had to use like one of the big old school battery jumpers. Um, and actually the reason why my last one broke is because I had to let somebody else use it, right? It's one of those things where there's always going to be someone that's like, oh, please, could I please use it? You know, I have to go get my kids or whatever. And you're like, okay, you give them instructions. You're like, you have to use this thing like this. And if you don't, it's going to break. And guess what? They bring it back and it's broken. And yeah, this, this just happened to me. Uh, as a result, I got this thing. Now, I would feel much better about lending this out to somebody um, because it damn near is idiot proof. That's why it's called the genius, right? Um, there's no offsettings. There's, there's no you know special way to store it. It's really easy plug and play, right? And... You know, it is what it is. I was very surprised that it worked. It works, and I'm super happy with it. So, yeah. The Genius 2 definitely gets my stamp of approval. And like I said, maybe they're on to like the Genius 3 or something like that now. Maybe even the 4. Who knows? Um, obviously, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you don't have a wall to plug into, that's going to be an issue, and as a result, we still have one of the old school, uh, you know, the big battery jumpers where you're lugging around a heavy battery. But I thought this thing was cool, and I didn't really even know about these. So I figured I'd make a quick video, because I was just kind of going through the Le Mans, getting ready to wash her up. Uh, yeah, who am I kidding? It's still the middle of winter. It is like 65 degrees outside, though. All the snow melted, and... Uh, I am really half tempted to fire this baby up and, uh, you know, take her for a spin. I think the only issue I have 
with my Le Mans right now. I mean, besides the badging that I need to put on her, and I have the badging. This car is completely covered in Z-Barts underneath, so it's not all rusted. If you look down there, everything is nice and clean. It's all blacked out. There's no rust like there would be on a 60-year-old car like this, right? Um, the only issue I have, though, if I fill this gas tank up all the way, it starts to leak. So I'm going to have to take the gas, can uh, gas tank out. Probably send it to a place like Gas Tank Renew and or just get another one, right? So that's one of the only things keeping me from driving this car. I just I wouldn't want to chance something like that. Who knows? Um, a gas tank fire would completely ruin something like this. And you know what? I'm not taking chances with something like this. Absolutely love this thing. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be buried in this car. Look at this. This original paint, you might not be able to see, but you can actually see the weld mark here. And this is the original lead-based paint. It's not perfect. It's not flawless. There's some scratches here and there, but it will get me by. Uh, I just wish I could find some old-school actual leaded paint. We can't use it anymore. Um, I do like the color, though. If I do repaint this, it's going to be all blacked out. Uh, and I have some American Racing rims that actually came off of this uh, this car's sister car, which was a GTO. That GTO sold for 35 grand on the spot. I think they actually got a deal on it. And I actually got to keep a pair of rims. They're like a pair of American racing rims. Don't get me wrong, these are cool. I dig them, you know, they're factory. They also came with brand new tires. So I uh, can't complain about that, but I do have a nice, chrome pair of rims and uh yeah just have to put uh some longer lugs on the back of it so yeah uh anybody has the same issue anybody else out there that you know has a car like this or a project car or maybe you work on cars you store them uh this might be something that you want to look into they're very affordable i think they're very reasonably priced for what you get you can also do some battery maintenance with this right it'll hook up to the battery make sure everything's at the level where it's supposed to be um and you know it's not just for cars right you know this will work for a lawnmower that you're only using a few times a year that you're storing uh, motorcycles everything and anything uh, especially if you're at the homestead I mean, this lets you really just plug right into the wall, and I think that's absolutely awesome. So, yeah, NOCO Genius 2. Very cool stuff, and uh, it's never failed me yet. If I missed anything, somebody leave a comment. Let me know. Later, everyone. Enjoy your Christmas. New Year's now.